Hi, everybody. Chris from comicbook.com. Uh, it's good to good to meet you. Dermot, it's great to talk to you again. I always love talking to you, sir. Fantastic. Thanks for having me back, Chris. Uh, here goes. <laughs> so I just watched Breakwater this morning, and I thought you guys all knocked it out of the park. So thank you very much for your time. This is going to be, I feel like this was a really hard movie to write questions for and like not spoil anything, but we're going to try. I believe in us. I think we can do our best. Um, first question, out of Ray, Dovey, and Eve, which of these characters do you think needs the most therapy? <laughs> That's a great question. Wow, I love that. Um, gosh, what do you think, Darren? Uh, well, hmm. <laughs> yeah, they got some deep, they have some deep trouble. I mean, I feel like we can all use, laws. I think we could all use some therapy. No, no doubt, right across the board. This movie is about dredging up the past and bringing it in, tossing it on somebody's doorstep um, <laughs> in the present. Uh, so, of course, in a great cinema movie like this, you'd learn those things a little bit out of order so that they're being revealed later and twisting around to what you expected. Uh, and we bring you all of that. There is stuff that we can tell you you're, you'll be satisfied to know in this film that we have the following, you know, kind of a romance, beautiful landscapes, tough uh, the underwater work. Darren has to dive down for the lobster traps and stuff like that. Wink, wink. Does that come back later in the movie? I don't know. But you'll also have <laughs> fist fights and really dark plot twists and uh and uh and uh, and a violent mind um that runs much of this storyline it's really yeah. complex incredible movie no there's so there's so many great plot twists in fact you know ray's got like so much history with both dovey and eve that's sort of hinted at throughout the movie and you know obviously we find out more as as it goes on but did the three of you have any conversations before filming to really understand your character's connection to one another yeah, I mean, we were there for about a week in Wilmington before, hanging out, getting to know each other. We had uh, a few different dinners and meetings with James and and the cast together, and just chatting backstory and and the story we were about to get into. So I feel like we were all really well prepared and and uh, ready to take on the task that we did, which was such a good time. And you know, your comment there, Dermot, about the the lobster trap. I love those smart through lines that James Rowe, our director writer, put in. It was so intelligent through the script with things followed through from the beginning to the end. Oh, that's how he's able to, you know, what he does at the end because of that, what we watched during the crab trap scene. Yeah. Just really intelligent script. Such a James's vision. I have, it sounds bad saying it, but I have even more respect for him after I saw the film seeing his vision come to life like how smart he was with his shot choices his writing such intelligent stuff i'd be thrilled to jump back and do another movie with james now dermot and Alyssa, both ray and eve have moments where you're really not sure who to trust so was there any particular scene where you felt this ambiguity was like the most challenging or exciting to film Without giving away spoilers. That's well, for sure, intro. yeah. That, that much of that part, we really, we wouldn't want to give away. Um, but Alyssa, you, sp you speak so eloquently about, yeah, it's a thriller where all the characters come together in a clash at the end. And um, as you said, they may not even then be. I'm still stuck on who needs the most, like who needs therapy the most. I'm still like <laughs> over here just thinking about that. Like who really answer. does at what point of the film? Yeah. Exactly. And that Thanks. is what is. Even when it was insane. over. It's just a hopeless case. You wouldn't want to waste the money on therapy on Ray. It's not going to work. Yeah. 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 He's too um, deep. Yeah. <laughs> but the character. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Eve, who I know by a different name in the storyline, there's a little Easter egg. Um, th th that character storyline unfolds so um, exquisitely slowly. It, 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 you're still putting pieces together about her at the end climax of the movie. So that's how well spun this tale is and how all of these extra parts, like Darren said, finally combine. And uh, we just all knew we were in great hands with James. He knew his script inside out. Uh, the production made incredible decisions, location-wise, shooting live on that boat 
Um, even those interiors, a lot of times you'd build that in the studio so you have room for the cameras. Uh, Alyssa and that little girl and I, we and cameraman and the assistant all crammed in there together and got this incredibly, uh, incredibly uncomfortably claustrophobic scene. So it was so grainy and so real. You'll uh, you'll really feel this movie when you see it. Um, An- yeah. Another thing that I really love about the movie still make my skin crawl a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> when, well, another thing I loved about the movie that uh, after watching it was that it actually has a surprisingly great soundtrack. Uh, so I was curious, did any of you like discover a new song after watching the film? Um, no, but I would say that Celia, who she sings in the film and she gives she I get goosebumps when I listen to her sing. Um, she's phenomenal talent um, has been on Broadway. Uh, you know, she she was amazing. So that song um and, and james was just really specific i know from you know we shot this a long time ago um sometimes that happens and then the you know industry had it slow down and all that but um gosh even then he was so dialed into what music was to be used and what the feel would be so and his brother you're brother. right he really nailed that uh that combination of tunes so haunting and uh just really pulls you into the film yeah mm-hmm. His brother um, was actually one of the writers for the music as well. So that was also. Oh, oh that's cool. Dermot, did you play any cello for the soundtrack? No, not on this. They one. didn't get you for it. Oh, man. They're I lost. Any time. But uh, yes, there's some of them. This one didn't name me. It's uh, now, uh, I do have to ask. I'm with comicbook.com. I've got to ask one nerdy question if it's okay, Dermot. But yes, uh, I wanted to ask. You know, you played the president of the United States in Secret Invasion and Harrison Ford will be playing the president in Captain America 4. So my question is, does this mean you'll be running against Harrison Ford in Cap 4? Because that would be awesome. Now we're talking. That's the kind of <laughs> spin off thinking. Uh, I'm uh, yes. The answer is a hard yes. Call Kevin Feige right now. Um, you have his number right because I don't. Um, and let him know that I'll be running against Thaddeus. What's his freaking name? I don't know. No, you think they tell me anything? They don't. Um, I was thrilled to be included in that. It got me in scenes with Samuel L. Jackson, like a dream, a lifetime dream, and reunited with Don Cheadle. Um, in- incredible uh, to be in there. I hope they bring President Ritson back. My feeling is this. His story isn't over because he kind of said, hey, we're going to we're going to seek you out and destroy you. So I'd love to see that. I would, too. And I don't think Ritson's the kind of president who's going to demand a recount. So I think it's going to be a great, a great back and forth. Anyway, I, I'm out of time, guys. You guys have been amazing. Thank Good you so much you, for taking Thanks the time.